guys I'm Stake for Games Defined and in today's tutorial we're going to learn about texturing. We're going to show you two ways to texture. One how to texture this simple flat box and then the next one is this modeled uh, crate. We're going to use the Unwrap Beauty VW modifier to texture this. Okay, so we'll start off making the box that we're going to texture, which is up here in the create panel. Just drag, let go, and then click. D the size doesn't matter to start with because we can alter it in the parameters of the modify panel. I'm going to use 58 by 58 by 58, but whatever you use, it doesn't matter because as long as it's a cube, then it will work. Okay, I'm going to maximize the window by holding Alt and pressing W. So to do this, just bring up the material editor, which is this button here. Just click that and this will come up. If you don't see this, then you're probably seeing this, which is the more complex editor. So we're just for now, we're going to use compact material editor. So press modes compact material editor and this will come up so to apply the material you'll see under blend basic parameters you'll see diffuse next to that there'll be this grey box which is where you select your colour and then next to that is a little square click that and under maps you'll see standard right there click that and then click bitmap and search for your bitmap. This is the one I'm going to use, which is the one I've shown you at the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, so just open that and just drag it on there. The reason it's grey is because it isn't enabled to show material in the viewport, which is this view right here. So to do that, click 4 from the right along this toolbar. It's called Show Shaded material in viewport just click that and you'll be able to see the material it, how it all fits perfectly okay now we're going to unwrap a model and show you how to texture it that way so i've already created one i'm just going to unhide it and hide that one so this is the model now if i drag the material on that we've just used you'll see exactly why it needs unwrapping and unwrapping will let you alter the UVs of the model to allow the material to look how it's supposed to look like the front of this so if we click the model come up to the modify list scroll right down to the bottom or press the letter U on the keyboard takes you to unwrap UVW just select that and this will come up first thing you do open UV editor under the edit UV section click that get rid of the material editor now these are your UVs for this model if you I'm gonna go to polygon mode select everything and just drag it off the screen to start with that way we've got a blank canvas to start with now when you're unwrapping a model everything has to be within this square otherwise anything outside does not get textured that's one important thing to remember so we'll start with this side like that to make this easier to be able to see how well it's unwrapped I'm going to apply a UV checker material to it that is basically this material here now it just checks that all the UVs are aligned properly if you tile that say 10 by 10 will be enough for example like this 
we'll use this one because this is what I meant. These, this section of the model, and this and the whole front border around here, is unwrapped to a certain degree. That's why it looks the texture looks really good on it, but these parts here and all the way around the edge are stretched because as, as I'll show you the reason why so if you select that front bit hold control to be able to select more than one side and if you come around to the other edge I'm holding alt holding down the scroll wheel that allows me to orbit the object this cube up here does the same thing so if we hold control click that side and instead of having to click each side like that and all the way around I'm going to click the grow button in the selection tab in the modify selection click that twice and it highlights everything then under the edit UVs click quick plane or map this is what happens and as you can see it's stretched the reason for that is because if you click the front you'll see the front here but you won't see these sides they are extremely small or don't even exist so if you click that click quick plane on map this happens and as you can see it's not stretched anymore so if we click that click that like that actually don't click that click the other side do the same thing now you want to select both of them like that in this section here click freeform mode this allows you to scale and rotate so if we make sh making sure angle snap is on which is this button here allows you to rotate in five degrees at a time you can press the letter A on your keyboard to enable that or just click that so rotate it 45 degrees and just drag it up here in line with this and here you will see pretty much the front edge of this will be the same now it doesn't matter that much for a crate because a crate isn't going to be used as a main object in a scene so you can get away with it and then for the sides you do exactly the same thing click that quick plane on map do the same for the other side like that and if you just select them both oops unselect by holding alt clicking it that's how you do that hold control select them both and then just drag them off to the side for now then select the top hold control select the bottom no select the bottom click quick plane on map then select the top do the same thing then select both of them just drag it up to the top like that now these pieces need to go well I'm gonna put them along the top this line here so if select them s hold control and drag and select these two as well hold control and alt and drag that lets you scale them both at the same time without getting any distortion on the texture now zo if you click this and press Z it zooms into it that's a nice little trick for you so that side's all done you just select it all drag it off to the side and then you can move on to the next side I'll show you how to do this one more time then I will speed through the rest and then come back to you like I said hold control hard control so press this until the whole side selected <laughs> 